we sustainably feed 8 billion people by 2025. We are going to have to produce more food in the next 40 years than we have the last 10,000 years. How we are going to do that? The answer is here. Vertical farming. Average meal travels over 1,500 kilometers from farm to table. As a result, nearly half the cost of the today's meal is the travel cost. Imagine instead growing all of your food in a 50-story tall vertical farm in downtown or nearby where the travel distance is no longer 1,500 kilometers, but below 50 kilometers. Delocalized farming will minimize travel cost at the same time that it maximizes freshness. Lab-grown meat revolution Fully 33% of the Earth's non-ice landmass is used for raising livestock, a massive amount of land and global demand for meat is predicted to double in the coming decade. Today, we must grow an entire cow, all bones, skin and internals included to produce a steak. Imagine instead, if we could start with a single muscle stem cell and only grow the steak without needing the rest of the cow. Think of it as cellular agriculture. Imagine returning millions, perhaps billions of acres of grazing land back to the wild owners. This is the promise of lab-grown meats. We are watching this technology develop in real time. Several startups across the globe are already working to bring artificial meats to the food industry. Aquaponics is a combination of aquaculture which is growing fish and other aquatic animals and hydroponics which is growing plants without soil. In aquaponics, the nutrient-rich water from raising fish provides a natural fertilizer for the plants and the plants help to purify the water for the fish. Aquaponics can be used to sustainably raise fresh fish and vegetables for a family to feed a village or to generate profit in a commercial farming venture. It's a great example of year-round indoor farming. It can be done anywhere, providing fresh local food that is free of pesticides, herbicides and chemical fertilizers. It is safe, easy and fresh.